Congratulations to coming this far in the Python series. Now let's implement everything that we have learned so far to build a guessing game. And for this guessing game, we're actually going to be using all sorts of programming structures that we have learned up to this far in this course. We're going to be using things like if statements, while loops, variables, and all these cool things in order to build this game. So the basic idea of this game is to have a secret word that will store inside of our program. And then the user can interact with the program and try to guess the secret word. And what we want the user to be able to do is keep guessing what the secret word is and they keep typing in responses until they can get the secret word correct. Sounds easy enough. Now let's go ahead and build this game. So the first thing we want to do is create a variable to store the secret word. Let's call this variable secret word and I'm going to set this equal to a secret word, subscribe, which is a pretty good secret word. Now what we want to do is create a variable that will store the user's response. I want to create a variable that will store all the guesses the user makes and let's call this variable guess and I'm going to set this equal to an empty string for now and now we have the secret word and a variable to store the user's guesses so now what we want to do is we need to be able to prompt the user to input the secret word but here's the catch what we want to happen is we want them to enter the secret word and if they don't guess it correctly, we want to prompt them to enter it over and over again. So in this case, we can't just use a single input statement. We actually have to use something called a while loop. We can use a while loop in order to continuously ask the user to guess the word until they guess it correctly. So let's go ahead and create our while loop. So I'm going to say a while and after this, I need to specify a looping condition or a loop card. Basically, this is something that as long as it's true, when I keep looping through this loop. So basically, I want to keep looping as long as the user's guesses is not equal to the secret word. So as long as they have not guessed the secret word, I'm going to keep going through this loop. And inside of this loop, we're going to keep asking them to input the secret word. So I can take this guess variable and I can set it equal to input. And I'm going to say enter the secret word. So over here, we're basically telling the user to enter in the guess. And we're storing whatever they entered inside of this guess variable. And then what's going to happen is we're going to come back up here and we're going to check to see if the guess is equal to the secret word. And if the guess isn't equal to the secret word, then we're going to ask them to enter the secret word again. But if the guess is equal to the secret word, then we're just going to break out of the loop. So we can come down here and we're going to print out a success message. So I could say, congratulations, you have entered the secret word because they got the secret word right. So this is a very, very simple program and this is essentially all the code we need to be able to build a game like this one. So let's go ahead and play our game. So I'm gonna quickly run this. And down here, you can see it's prompting us to enter in a guess. So I'm going to type in some random text and we can type in whatever we want. And as long as we're not entering that secret word, it's gonna keep prompting us to enter the secret word. So if I enter in subscribe, and all of a sudden the program is gonna terminate and it's gonna say, congratulations, you have guessed the secret word because we're able to guess the secret word. Now that's a really cool way for us to be able to do this. And we actually have a fully functional guessing game. But I think this guessing game could be improved quite a bit. A lot of times when we're making a guessing game, we want to set a limit. In other words, we want to set a limit for the number of times that the user can try to guess the word. They said that the user has three tries to guess the word. And if they can't guess the word after three tries, then they will lose the game. But if they can guess the word, within three tries, then they will win the game. Actually, I think this will be a bit more of a fun game. So why don't you try and program that game? Basically, we wanna set a limit on the number of guesses that the user has. So in order to do this, we need to create a couple more variables down here. In other words, we're gonna to have to store a couple more pieces of information. The first piece of information I want to keep track of is how many times the user has guessed. So we're gonna create a variable called guess count, and we're gonna set this equal to zero. And down here in this while loop, every time we go through this loop, I want to increment that guess count. So down here, I'm going to say guess count plus equals one. And this is going to add one to the guess count. So after each iteration, we're going to go ahead and add one to the guess count. All right, this is the first variable we're going to need. We also need another variable. And I'm going to call this variable guess limit. And basically, this variable is going to tell us how many times the user can guess the word. And for now, let's say three times. So let's say that the user has three tries to guess the word, three strikes and you're out. If the user can get it in three tries, then we're going to basically say that they lose the game. And we also need one more variable, which we're going to call out of guesses. And I'm going to set this equal to false initially. 
So this variable is gonna be a Boolean variable and it's gonna tell us whether the user is out of guesses or not. So if out of guesses is true, that means they have no more guesses and they lose the game. And if out of guesses is false, that means they still have some guesses left and they can keep playing. So let's use this variable to make our program more fun. The first thing I want to do when I go through this loop is I wanna check that the user has more guesses to continue. In other words, before I let the user enter in a guess, I want to check to see if they haven't used up all their guesses. So down here, I can make an if statement. I can say if, and inside of the condition, I wanna check to see the guess count is less than the guess limit. And if the guess count is less than the guess limit, that means they haven't, they haven't guessed the total number of guesses they have. So they have some guesses left. And if that's true, we're gonna go ahead and give them a guess and increment the guess count. And if this isn't true, and in other words, they have reached their guest limit, then I want to say out of guesses is equal to true because they are out of guesses, right? They have no more guesses because the guest count wasn't less than the guest limit. And that means they are out of guesses. So there's one more thing we need to do. We need to add in another condition onto this loop guard. So right now we're gonna keep looping and as long as the guess is not equal to the secret word, but remember, if the user is out of guesses, in other words, if they've reached their guess limit, we don't want them to guess anymore, right? So if they ran out of guesses, then we want to basically break out of this loop and not give them any more guesses. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another condition onto here. And I'm gonna say while they haven't guessed the word and they are not out of guesses, then we're gonna keep looping. So as long as they have not guessed the word and as long as they still have guesses left, we're gonna keep looping. But otherwise, we're going to break out of the loop. Down here, we're printing out you win. But actually, when we break out of this loop, there's gonna be two possible scenarios. So again, there are two possible ways that the loop could end, right? Either the guess is equal to the secret word, so either the user guessed the word correctly or the user ran out of guesses. So there's gonna be two situations down here that we need to account for. So I'm gonna use an if statement to figure out which is which. So when I say if, and we're gonna type out, and we're just gonna type out of guesses, and if the user is out of guesses, then want to print out of guesses, you lose. Otherwise, if they're not out of guesses, that means that they guess the word correctly, and then we're gonna print out you win. All right, so now we have all the logic for this little guessing game setup. Now let's see if we can run it. I'm gonna quickly run the program, and now it's telling us to enter in a guess. Let's try and enter more guesses than we have. In other words, let's try and lose the game. I'm gonna type in a bunch of random letters on the first guess and on the second guess. On the third guess, if I don't get it, we should actually lose the game. And you can see it says out of guesses, you lose. So we weren't able to guess it in the number of tries we had. Let's rerun the program and this time we'll try and win the game. So we'll get a couple wrong and we're on our last guess and I say, I can do this. And I type in the word and bam, we won the game. And that's basically how we can create a guessing game that has guess limits. So this is a lot of code. Let me walk you guys through this one more time so you can get a full understanding of what's going on. Up here, I created a few different variables. I created this secret word variable and we created this guess variable. Then we also created some more variables. So we created this guess count variable and this is to keep track of how many times the user has guessed the word. And you can see down here, every time we guess the guess by incrementing the guess count. So we have the guess limit and the guess limit is telling the program how many times the user can guess before I go through this while loop. I first check if the guess count is less than the guess limit. In other words, do they still have more guesses left? If they do, we're gonna, we're gonna get the input from the user. Otherwise, we have this other variable up here called out of guesses. And out of guesses is gonna tell us whether they have some guesses left. And if this is equal to false, that means they have some guesses. And if this is equal to true, that means they have no more guesses. Then they are done and they lost the game. The last thing we have to do is specify another condition up here. So when I keep looping through this code inside of this loop, and as long as the conditions up here are true, and as long as they haven't guessed the word, and as long as they are not out of guesses, then I'm gonna keep looping through this. And eventually, the user does break out of the loop. There's gonna be two possible situations. The first situation is that they ran out of guesses 
and we want to check to see if that's the situation. I want to check to see if they are out of guesses. If they are, then we'll print out the lose message. And if they are not, then they must have guessed correctly. So they win. And that's how we can use while loops, if statements, and variables in combination with each other to build a pretty awesome guessing game. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Turn on post notifications to be the first to know when I publish a new video. Also, I'm always looking to improve. If you have any constructive criticism or any questions or anything, comment them below. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.